Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. We will be running 6.3.5, that is going to be Caustic Temper and Terminal Velocity. So your Defender takes 90% less damage if you don't have an Active Fury on yourself. And also it gives you a percentage chance of giving the attacker a poison. Now to deal with that, you have to bring in Poison Immune Champions and the next node is going to be Terminal Velocity. So every time you hit your opponent there uh, with a critical, their attack rate goes up by 25% up to 300. Combine that with Spiked Armor. Every time, do you, every time you hit the opponent with the critical, they are going to return your damage. Now you need a champion that does not crit at all. Or you can also use a path boost that is going to be Marvelous Metabolism for Cosmic Champions who are Poison Immune. That boost uh, gives them extra Furies and stops them from using criticals at all so the spy combo doesn't work and the terminal velocity doesn't work as well the boss is going to be a mysterio with tunnel vision and matador we will discuss more about him once we get into the fight now my team is going to be a hyperion so I'm, because i'm going to use the boost and i'm going to bring in magneto for a hero their metal champion and gilly 29 is one of the only few champions that can work on this path without the boost as well. There are three champions to my knowledge in the game that do not crit while they attack. One is Gilly2099, one is Guardian and the other one is Crossbones. But because Gilly2099 is immune to all the poison and also bleed, so she works amazing on this path. Now to help that, I have brought in a synergy team of Angela with Heimdall. So when I swipe back and I hold one for 1.5 seconds, I'm going to get a Fury buff that will be very helpful for Gilly 299. Now you will notice that I'm going to use in Hyperion. You can bring in any Mystic, uh, any Cosmic Champion that is Poison Immune. You can bring in a Medusa, you can bring in Kamala Khan, you can bring in Captain Marvel Movie Version. Any of the old Captain Marvels as well, they can work. So anytime you hit the opponent, you're going to get Furies as you notice because they're trying to apply the poison on me and the poison is immune and that is converted to Fury because of the path boost that is called Marvel's Metabolism. And once that is there, I cannot crit, but I can give him a lot of damage because of Furies. And once I don't crit, the Spiked Armor node does not react as well. So once you have that down, it's a pretty simple and easy path. It's just a long one, but it's good to discuss how to go ahead and approach this path. Next fight is going to be a Punisher 2099. Now he's a metal champion on this path. So what I'm trying to do, I'm going to bring in Magneto and just use my heavy hits and hope they don't crit. Even if they do, if there's a special attack, I am just going to stay back and bait it out and build up to 40 prowess charges and kill him off. Magneto is also going to work against the boss and there's also another metal champion warlock. So if you have Magneto, it's worthwhile to bring in. He can take out three of the 11 fights in this path. It's a long path, guys. So I will just leave the timestamps in the description. Make sure to check out the other fights if you want as well. Up next is a King Root. Uh, he can be very annoying as well, but you just need to take care about his Furies. Just make sure that you 
dispel the furies by giving them any debuff so you can it can be uh, parries as well in my case i'm using hyperion so i'm gonna use l1 to give them incinerate so the furies can go away and when it's the healing phase i can go in and lay my damage and because i am r running this marvelous metabolism boost and hyperion is a cosmic champion he is going to get furies and he will not crit anymore you can use the same with a lot of different cosmic champions you can use medusa you can use kamala khan you can use captain marvel movie version you can use miss marvel as well you can use the og captain marvel as well so there's quite a few champions that you can bring in if not the other two options that i can see in the game are gilly 2099 and also quake as well but you will need heimdall plus angela synergy for them to work because you need an active fury on you to deal 100 percent of the damage Otherwise, the fights will be really, really long. He is a tanky champion, King Groot, so it might take a little while for you to bring him down. So just be patient and just go through it. It's an easier path, but a long and patient one. Next fight is going to be against the Diablo. So now I've brought in Gilly 2099 just to show you a different aspect of it. You just notice that I swipe back and I hold my block to get that Fury charge up. Now I can bypass Caustic Temper. So whenever they, they will try to uh, inflict a poison on me that will not work. And now I'm just using my heavies to build up those six protection charges. And after that I will just start laying into him and do my best to get up to 100 hit so I can start getting them extra energy damage from Gilly 2099. Uh, nothing to worry about against Diablo, his specials are easily available but if he does use a special one just go in use one hit and swipe back just wait for him to see if he goes unstoppable or not because of his kinetic brewing if he doesn't then you can go back in and hit into him again if not then wait out the unstoppable and then you can kill him off. Apart from that, it's a quite straightforward and easy fight with easily available specials. Depends on you what champion you're going to bring in. I'm just bringing in all different champions to show you that it's very doable also with a non-cosmic champion that is Gilly 2099 or also a Quick.
Next up is going to be a rogue. So the only thing you need to care about is to stay away of her special one because she can lifesteal from you and take it on herself. And also her SP2 build takes away your power. And uh, apart from that, whenever you, you apply a debuff, she will shrug off them 40% faster. So you need to be careful about that. So if you have parried her, and if you go a bit late on your heavy attack, she is going to come out of it and retaliate. And in my case, I'm using Hyperion. So if I use an SP1, the incinerates will go away faster as well. So keeping that in mind, I'm just going to use SP2s or a mixture of them. But the whole point is, as long as I know the timing, I can easily bring her down. Next up is going to be a dupe Venom Pool. Now with Venom Pool again he is very easy. His SP1 is of Venom and his SP2 is of Deadpool. So his specials are easy to evade. There is nothing too tricky about this fight. Just be careful because he is duped so he randomly he gets different buffs on him. So he might possible that he might get an unstoppable buff and mess up your fight. Especially if you are running a Giddy 2099 he might become unstoppable and your combo will go away. So just be careful about that apart from that. Uh, it's a quick and easy fight when you hit him because of cost of temper it will try to apply poison on you but because you're using the marvelous metabolism path boost that will be converted into fury and it will stop your attacker from dealing any critical hits to the opponent so yeah just bring in a cosmic champion with poison immunity and you are set for this fight as well Now next up is going to be a pretty annoying Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister anytime you fight him is very annoying because every time you hit him with a critical hit he will heal back all of that. But because we are running a path like that where critical hits uh, don't matter. So 
it's it's a much easier fight if you go with Gilly 2099 because she has a built-in mechanism that she cannot crit. So what we try to do again I have 100 hits from the fight before and now I'm just gonna lay into him and all of that energy damage will come in and kill him off. Ideally I would suggest you to stay till special 1 but if you push her to special 2 I would say just block it off the first beam and then you can swipe back instead of trying to avoid all of it you might get hit and then stun. And yeah once you have that down because you're not critting he will die very fast. You can do the same with any cosmic champion as well for example if, if you're running Captain Marvel movie version with the boost then they will, uh, it will, uh, the node will try to apply poison on you and that will be converted to fury and you will not crit. So any poison immune cosmic will work as well. I just personally like Gilly 29 against him. So yeah I'm just using her. And then we have a Dr. Voodoo, again his specials are very easily available, SP1 and SP2. So bring in any champion, cosmic champion or in my case Gilly2099 and we can kill him off. He is a mystic champion so if you have a Quake, Quake will kill him off faster. You can also run suicide if you like for this path because it's all about hitting the opponent and not using one specials. So yes guys, it's a pretty simple straightforward fight, yeah, just you have to it's a longer path, you just have to be a bit patient while bringing the champions down. Next up we are going to have a Venom, now if you are starting the fight a bit low on health like me uh, and you are less than 18% Venom will go unblockable on a special so it is a good idea to keep him on a special 1. If not you can keep push him to an a special 2 as well but if you can't evade his special he can do a lot of damage to you also block damage. So I would suggest you to always keep him to an SP1 and then you can just kill, uh, lay into him. I am just going to use an SP3 with high period and try to heal myself up. And by that time I will have a lot of fury so I'm just gonna use my basic hits into an sp2 to kill him off. And yes guys that's about it, stay away from his sp2 and apart from that it's a pretty easy and simple fight guys.
and the last fight before the boss is going to be a warlock now i would suggest you to bring in a robotic champion if there is so for example in the tech class there is guinea 2099 same way in the cosmic class there is should be any robotic champion to so use the robotic champion against him because when he will put all of those transmute viruses on you and you get virus on you and he's going to use an sp2 and you'll be armor broken and if you're using willpower then that is going to reverse heal or you're going to lose your power so that is a bit of a nuisance but if you don't run willpower it's fine you can use any champion all you need to do is to just lay into him and kill him off his sp2 is very easy to evade try not to use his sp1 and uh, yes guys that's about it he will die very quickly if you use the right champion any cosmic champion will work with poison immunity along with gilly 2099 and quake as well And the boss fight is going to be against the Mysterio. Now there are three nodes that you need to take care about. The first one is going to be Tunnel Vision. So if you're going to use the same attack twice in a row, there will be a fault or debuff on you. You can heal by it from willpower, so you can use it to your advantage. Uh, other than that, your champion will miss from it. So you can bring in champions that can counter miss. So I'm talking about Nick Fury. I'm talking about your Human Torch or also Silver Surfer. That will also work as well. Another thing there is another node that is Metador so you will only gain power when your opponent uses a special attack otherwise you won't be able to gain power. And the third node is Toxic Behavior so anytime he has three uh, gas charges on him he will transfer it to you or if you get hit by a heavy attack he will also transfer the poison on you. So you can also need to bring in a poison champion. So it depends on you what type of champion you're going to bring in. Um, there are different options that can work here he is also a metal champion i'm using a magneto so all i'm trying to do is to build up to uh, build up as many as magnetic charges as possible and then use my sp3 with magneto because he will magnetize the mysterious he will bypass the mist as well so the only thing i need to take care about during this fight is going to be tunnel vision so when uh, it's going to be the poison that is toxic behavior so anytime he has two to three charges i will try to bait his special out because if you bait his special out those charges are dispersed and you will not be poisoned i do get once or twice poisoned here but the willpower from falter and his sp2 power league helps me out and i stay alive now for mysterious sp1 and sp2 sp1 is going after sp1 is used there is a small timer in which any damage you do to him is going to be reflected back except for stuns and damage over time so you need to be careful about that right now i'm staying back from him and not doing any damage because of his timer and now i can go back into him for his sp2 he is going to put a power leak on you once it finishes so just be careful about that as well and yes guys once you have that down and you play a little carefully it is um, not one of the easiest boss fight but is if you it's a patient and a long one but you can bring him down you can solo him as well i am using magneto as well i've also used hyperion to solo him as well and also captain america infinity war with the cosmic and a skill champion so there's quite a few options now he is quite easy after the nerf before he used to have armor break immunity as well but for now he is a more simpler and easier boss to bring down i hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks for this path if you did guys make sure to 
like the video leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel and turn on those bell notifications all of that really helps me out a lot next up is going to be another path from 6.3.5 guys so stay tuned and apart from that i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time